welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Like fire, like rain, let your glory fall. Like fire, like rain, let it fall. Like fire, like rain, let your glory fall. It's like fire like rain let it fall until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness be counted for a fruitful field and a fruitful field be counted for a forest not without the spirit and not outside of the spirit when it has to do with the business of revival it is the ministry of the holy spirit just take a minute to soak in that glory it's resting upon you resting upon your life resting upon you Oh yes, that glory fills this place, fills this place, fills your life, fills your destiny. Salimanando bragediba la copas, crate la cabarando sobre dish. Kena marusia da balatu sikres, kalata prote perento sepratis, ina balato borusi. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord is healing someone. You came here with severe back problem. This is you are not able to bend. I don't know who that person is. I want you to lift your hands right where you are. The power of God is resting upon you right now. Right now. Let the power that raised Christ from the dead, back problems, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare every back problem be healed now. Every back problem be healed now. Every back problem be healed now. The Lord is showing me a gentleman, you are not able to walk very well with your left leg. The left leg. I don't know if we have such a person like that. I want you to begin to walk with that leg now. If there is such a person, you are not able to walk with your left leg. I want you to move it right now. Don't be afraid. Move it right now, wherever you are, by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to begin to move it now. There is a lady I'm seeing in my vision. You are not even able to see the stage clearly. But a miracle is going to happen to you now. And you will be able to see me clearly. I don't know if there is such a lady. In my vision, I'm seeing that lady wearing yellow. You are wearing a yellow dress. This is what I'm seeing. I want to talk to that lady. Is there someone like that? Please come yellow you're wearing a yellow dress come i want you to place your hand on your eyes 
the name of Jesus I stretch my hands by the power of the Holy Spirit life to you now now in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead who is Gloria Gloria I'm hearing a name Gloria is there someone like that Gloria the Lord is saying I should announce to you that a new season is coming Gloria Gloria the power of the Holy Spirit please don't make this place rowdy let's be orderly once I'm done talking to you if it's not your turn please just stay right where you are don't come out for someone else let it be for yourself so that we don't make the place rowdy Gloria in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you the hand of God is strong here I'm going to pray for the sick now and um, there's someone you were diagnosed of a heart problem I don't know what a heart problem the Lord wants to heal that person right now a heart problem who is that person a heart problem the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus Gloria I want to pray for you the Lord is saying you are stepping into a new season this woman look at me that fire comes on you now mm. mighty God you see let me explain something look at me there is absolutely nothing that is happening here that is for the glory of self by the grace of God we have no business making a name for ourselves except to see Jesus lifted revealed and glorified so as you watch the wonder walking power of Jesus don't be like fans watching celebrities no no these are vessels by mercy yielded enough to reveal Jesus to reveal his power to reveal his wisdom there is no place for the flesh to be glorified here it is absolutely Jesus walking wonders in the midst of his people and to him be all the glory to him be all the glory in the name of Jesus one of these ladies in front will shout now loud under the anointing one of them and why God gives this sign sometimes um, it's a miracle and a wonder how he does what he does heart problem in the name of Jesus Christ place your hand you will be healed right now you will check yourself please let's have uh, the doctors or those some of the leaders just give them a mic here and there place your hand right now I sense a strong healing anointing just moving across this place I want you to be open to receive you have no reason to go back with any sickness any infirmity in the name of Jesus I pray for everyone with a heart condition by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now be healed now be healed now Claire, everyone here with a heart condition be healed now be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now in the name of Jesus please go ahead and check yourselves I'm seeing a lady you came here with a growth around your in the name of Jesus check it now that growth is gone gone by the power of the Holy Spirit check it now a miracle is happening to you um just would we'll clear the way now so we can take a few testimonies my God the hand of God is strong in this place everyone with a growth place your hand there I want to rebuke that growth right now I'm going to ask you shortly to come testify but in the name of Jesus any growth lump growth around your abdominal region by the power that raised Christ from the dead I command that growth to dissolve now 
I command that growth to dissolve now. I command that growth to dissolve now. There is something in medicine called early menopause. That means it's not supposed to be your time for menopause, but for some reason, some health conditions, there is a lady who has that condition here. The power of God is touching you. You've stopped seeing your circle for a mysterious satanic reason. The power of God is touching you right now. Go and check yourself. You will come to testify now. Ah, like fire, like rain, let your glory fall. Like fire, like rain, let it fall. Like fire, like rain, like fire, like rain. Let your glory fall like fire, like rain. Let it fall one more time. Like fire, like rain. Like fire, like rain. Let your glory fall like fire, like rain. A lady has a growth at the left side, the left side of your breast. In the name of Jesus, that growth is living now. That growth is living now. That growth is living now. There's someone you have, it, it looks like appendicitis, severe pain around the lower right area, the lower right area of your abdomen. I don't know if you verified it medically or not. The Lord is revealing to me that he's bringing healing right now healing right now healing right now i'm seeing someone one one of your tooth was extracted and from that time there's been severe pain severe pain in the name of jesus that pain is living now that pain is living now in the name of jesus now place your hand it doesn't matter what the condition is i want to rebuke that sickness now and here's what i want you to do for me please listen please listen as i pray for you i want you to check yourself some of you have received a miracle right now don't be silent on your miracle as soon as you receive a miracle i want you to move either to my left or my right i'm seeing someone coming out miracles are already happening here by the power of the holy spirit i want you to check yourself come stand by my left and my right and let us know that the lord has touched you let's take some testimonies and then we'll do the charge for the morning people are already coming out by the spirit of the living god place your hand there my god are you seeing what is happening that rain of healing by the power of the holy spirit now in the name of jesus anyone here who came sick in your body you came sick blood conditions in the name of jesus my god i sense fire literally i just sense i'm not seeing it but i'm sensing fire it's like fire help that lady fire is resting upon people burning everything burning everything that is not of god burning every infirmity burning every disease burning every disease in the name of jesus I declare blood conditions be healed now blood conditions you came here with any blood condition be healed right now blood related issues leukemia be healed now HIV be healed now hepatitis be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ every blood related condition I speak healing by the anointing of the Holy Spirit now I pray for every bone condition you came here unable to walk or walk well as soon as I'm done praying I want you to lift your legs lift your hands and begin to move do what you couldn't do before by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare any and all help that lady my God I'm seeing the power of God rest on a lady there in the name of Jesus Christ all bone conditions be healed now be healed now there's someone with a severe shoulder pain the lord is healing you right now check yourself you'll find out that that devil is gone gone forever never to return 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone who has a breathing problem it's like you have to open up your mouth to breathe it's difficult to breathe through your nostrils I don't know if that is a medical condition and what the name is but in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that the power of God will rest upon you whilst you're listening to me in the name of Jesus be healed right now I'm seeing a woman you've been diagnosed of early signs of cancer early signs of cancer it's not degenerated to stage four but you've been diagnosed of early signs of cancer the Lord wants to heal you now in the name of Jesus wherever you are let the power that raised Jesus from the dead let it rest upon you right now let it rest upon you right now early signs of cancer I cost that devil right now in the name of Jesus I cost that devil right now the Lord is ministering to me there are at least four people you see a lot of dead people in your dreams this is what happens to you you go to bed it's a frequent occurrence you continually see dead people and it's as if they are calling you to come is the spirit of the grave i want to pray for you that everyone who has been under that kind of demonic influence it says oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory right now in the name of jesus i separate you from those demonic influences I separate you by the power of the Holy Spirit that death has no hold upon your life. Now, be set free in the name of Jesus. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Someone shout and say, I shall not die. One more time, say, I shall not die. Say it again, I shall not die. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing a lady um, there's something that has to do with a digestive problem and how you will know the Lord is healing you a strong anointing will come upon that lady a loud shout and then she's under the anointing please help a digestive problem I don't know what that problem is but the Lord is bringing liberty to you now in the name of Jesus Christ liberty liberty by the spirit of grace the lord is bringing liberty i hope you are receiving what the lord is bringing now your elder brother has a like a tumor a tumor something that has to do with the head or the brain your elder brother has a tumor in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord wants to bring that healing who is that person like a tumor by the power that raised Christ from the dead we agree right now your elder brother please help them mighty God a tumor let that devilish tumor dissolve now now this is very interesting listen we're going to take testimonies and I'm going to ask those who have been touched by the power of God to find their way to my left and right in an orderly manner and we'll take the testimonies. But two things will happen now. A gentleman and a lady, two of them. A gentleman and a lady. The power of God is going to come upon them and it's like a loud shout that is not it's not listen we're spiritual people and so when we talk about this shout it's not just um random making of noise these are signs in the spirit a gentleman and a lady and when that happens i'm going to ask you to come i mean all of those who should testify and will take a few testimonies i know there are people shouting all around but a gentleman and a lady they are signs by the spirit of god in the name that is above all names i decree and declare right now that by this sound you said the shout is a mystery in the spirit the bible says the shouts of joy 
and of victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous the shout of joy in the name of Jesus Christ now I decree and declare all those who have been touched by the power of God if you need to check yourself help them now there goes the shout if you need to check yourself please do that very quickly and then let them come out very quickly let them come out quickly check yourselves and you, you if you are not able to move move your legs right now help that lady if you are not able to move your hands test yourself very quickly we have a medical stand and so if you need to confirm yourself hold on i'm seeing i saw this vision that i'm seeing now while we're in canada and i see this often when the lord is dealing with blood problems i'm seeing a thermometer going up and down and the lord is saying someone who has suffered from high blood pressure the lord is bringing that blood pressure down right now the lord is bringing that blood pressure right now who is receiving it the lord is bringing that blood pressure right now in the name of jesus christ peptic ulcer be healed right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone has a problem of frequent urination you go to use the restroom unusually um it's not it's not something that is a normal course of how things should be done sometimes it can be so embarrassing if you don't go on time it's possible that you can begin to urinate on yourself this is a demonic thing and the lord himself is bringing you healing right now bringing you healing right now bringing you healing right now bringing you healing by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ now if you could not walk you came here on a wheelchair you came here on a stretcher you came here using a walking aid if there's anyone like that i want you to lift it up and walk in the name of jesus christ if you were not able to walk don't be afraid this is by the power of the holy spirit if there's any such persons i want you to begin to walk by the anointing of the holy spirit or you came here you were whatever it is crippled on a bed a stretcher in the name of jesus now is your time to receive a miracle a supernatural miracle by the power of the holy spirit miracles are happening here already are you seeing what jesus is doing let's have the doctors examine some of them and then we'll take a few testimonies to the glory of the name of jesus christ one more prayer and then we'll be seated for a while to hear the testimonies um the lord i'm hearing that god is healing i don't know if the person is here i, I may not presume that the person is here but you have a, a problem with coordination what we will call madness it's like the person does not reason well you know um not not like autism but you know memory loss and all the things that that show madness whether you are here following online or related to someone who is here because god has revealed it i decree and declare let there be healing now 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 in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please be seated for a few minutes let's take some testimonies to the glory of the name of the lord we'll have to do that very very fast all right go ahead apostle you need to hear this sir. yes please this dear woman has suffered from arthritis for five years arthritis for five years and then she's had pains in her right leg yes. not able to raise up the legs yes she has gone to the hospital back and forth they've not been able to resolve it but soon as you call the name glory her name is glory the power of god came upon her the pains the heat in her legs disappeared now she can raise the legs she can walk with move the legs. walk the pains walk. are gone completely look at this Five she years. couldn't do this before she couldn't do this before pains and heat in her leg disappeared let's completely. give jesus praise in the name of jesus it never returns to you again sir this will interest you for 10 years or more she's been unable to see from afar and read from afar 
without using her glasses. I see her holding her glasses. Exactly. Let so me hear her speak. Um, I was seated at the top there, and when you called for the lady in yellow who had issues with her eyes, I also laid hands on my eyes, and I removed my glasses, and I could read the screen. You couldn't do this before? I couldn't read it from... From where she was sitting. From she that was distance. Reading. She was reading. Now you are able to see. Now I can read. Very clearly. Screen. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? In the name of Jesus, I declare, my dear, by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfect vision in the amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen and amen. Apostle, for days, this dear woman has been battling with severe migraine. And because she's pregnant, she's not able to use very strong painkillers. She tried using some, but the migraine wouldn't go. Tonight, to this morning, as you were praying and speaking the word, the power of God came upon her. The migraine is gone completely, and she's completely fine. Completely Amen. gone. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare perfection for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's have from here. Apostle, she has had a lump growing on her right breast, left breast, for three years now. Yes, three she, years. Yes. She had an operation done on it, but when she came to the UK, it began to grow again. And a biopsy was conducted not too long ago. Yes. But right now, after you mentioned the case, the it, lump disappeared. It's gone. It's gone. Totally gone. Come on, UK. Totally gone. Are you giving Jesus praise? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's a miracle there. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Are you celebrating miracles? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, she has had toothache and she went to get her teeth filled. But after getting it filled, she has not been able to sleep since Tuesday. She has only had barely 10 hours of sleep. But immediately you mentioned the case. She said the pain is entirely gone. She doesn't feel the pain. Completely All gone. gone. Completely. How long has this been? Since on Tuesday, I've not slept till this morning. I came here with severe pain and migraine. But during ministration, the pain went away. Completely. Completely. Give Jesus praise. Never returns again. I see a miracle happening. Talk to me about this. Apostle, you need to hear this. This dear woman for over a year couldn't walk without the aid of these crutches because of severe pains in her back. The power of God came on her. She can still feel those, the power of God running through her veins and her bones. Now she can walk. There's a witness here that can testify to this. Daddy, she was sat up there like um, where the disabled section yes. is. And during ministration, when you said that there's somebody with a bone issue, then I saw her drop her crutches and she was trying to walk. And then I even tapped another usher next to me and said that that woman might need help. Like somebody needs to stand next yes. to her in case she falls. But then she kept walking and then she, she was looking for someone to speak to that. Madam, look at me. In the name of Jesus, walk. Walk. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me teach you another part says, Hallelujah, 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 you are God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands.
hands let's celebrate Jesus one more time yes Lord yes Lord you are the king there is none other yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord you are the king there is none other yes Lord yes Lord Hallelujah. Apostle, Please be seated for a while. Miracles are happening here. You mentioned that people who have pain on their right side yes. should be healed yes. and check themselves. These two sisters have had pain on their right side. They are sisters? Yeah. No, okay. no, no. I mean, okay, I, okay, believe us now. I understand. <laughs> okay. So they, some of them have had, she has had appointment with her GP and they couldn't find anything. Yes. But the pain had persisted. But immediately you mentioned their case. Instantly they got healed. Come on now. She's itching to speak. Go I've, ahead. I've, I've had a colposcopy. I've had a cervical scan. I've had normal scan just to check. And they just say, we can't find anything. And yesterday when Pastor Nath was ministering, I could feel the probing. And I was like, you can't leave this arena inside of me. Yeah. And I started speaking my healing. I left and I didn't feel any pain again. But you have just confirmed that this healing is complete. Because you said the pain is on the right side. And I was like, which part of my body? And then I confirmed it was the right. And there's no pain. Like, there's nothing. In there's the name no of Jesus Christ never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus okay let's let's have may god bless you in jesus name next testifier very quickly apostle he has had he has he has not been able to move his arm for three weeks which of them right Left. the right arm what yeah. happened so sir um my wee boy likes to sleep on my chest before i put him on the bed okay. my my baby yes so three weeks ago I allowed him to lie on my chest and then next morning I woke up I practically could not move the hand I literally struggled to drive from Scotland to this place mm. and I booked a physiotherapy session because the GP said they can't do a scan so I have to go to see the physiotherapist. and what happened now and so just while you were ministering you had mentioned people to lay their hands and then again you mentioned right shoulder this will be the first time you know I'll practically receive a miracle it's funny and I just put my hand on my shoulder and lift it up. Lift it up. That's it. That's what it. was impossible, you made possible. Jesus, yeah. Jesus, yeah. Jesus, yeah. You have done it again. Jesus, yeah. In your special way, what was impossible? possible Jesus yeah. hallelujah in the name of Jesus this is how someone here will collide with a series of miracles Amen. series of testimonies Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. my friend in the name of Jesus it never returns to you again life health vitality in Jesus name go ahead apostle for three years and more this dear lady has been going to the hospital because of pain in her right abdominal region. Yes. They tested to see whether it was a cyst. They said it was not a cyst. Whether it was appendicitis, they said it was not. They couldn't decipher exactly what it was. But this morning, as you were Hold praying, on. Let me speak over someone. Every inexplicable issue around your life, the pain remains, yet there's no explanation. May not be an issue of health inexplainable financial hardships inexplainable situations by the power that raised christ from the dead let that situation give way now i speak to you prophetically that situation gives way now it gives way now it gives way now it gives way now, gives way now. amen and amen Go ahead. we have a doctor here who carried out a test the pain is completely gone Good evening, Apostle. Yes. I did an examination on our sister's abdomen and there was no pain on examination. She's had the pain for three years, she says. And when I examined, I couldn't find or I couldn't elicit any pain. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing. I declare perfection for you, my dear. 
in the matchless name of Jesus. Sorry, you said appendicitis. That is how I knew it was my word because that was what was suspected first. I see. And for three years, in fact, I've started living with the pain. Thank you, Jesus. It's gone forever. Gone forever. Apostle, in Jesus' name. Apostle, yes. there's a very beautiful testimony here. Please go ahead. She came to the hall and she uses glasses. But while the service was going on, she misplaced her glasses and was looking for it so she can see you when you come on stage. She still cannot find her glasses, but she's able to see you from where she is. The glasses got missing. God healed her so that she can see you without her glasses. This other sister has had pressure on her eyes for 10 years. That was the lady who came out here. Yes. You remember the lady who just walked out here? With the yellow shirt. How long was this? Let me hear her speak. Apostle, for more than 10 years, I've struggled with my sight. Uh, and I had so much pressure to see. I even have headache. But today, I, I, I couldn't see you from there. But when you came, I was able to see you. And then I saw your hand as you are pointing. It was as if you are pointing at me. Like, God. today is your day. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands, everybody. And just tell him thank you thank you we bless you i exalt you i exalt Father, we give you praise. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. I exalt you. Oh, Lord. You see, the reason why we take testimonies like this, listen carefully, it's important for the nations to know that Jesus heals it is important for the nations to know that Jesus delivers it is important for the nations to know that he does not just save he's able to bless he's able to lift the Bible says in John chapter 20 from verse 30 he said many other miracles a miracle is happening to her eyes her eyes i don't know what is wrong with her eyes there's fire coming on her eyes i'm seeing a miracle happening to her eyes that lady many other signs truly did jesus in the presence of his disciples which were not written in this book verse 31 says but these are written that ye might believe that jesus is the christ the son of god and that believing ye might receive life through his name we allow for these testimonies to encourage our faith and to help us see that miracles are real that the power of god is real hallelujah all right go ahead let's take one or two more and then we'll be seated apostle another amazing testimony yes please she has had back pain for two years she went to see her doctor uh. and they diagnosed her with spinal cord issues that's the medical that's report. the medical report i see that she needed a surgery and she's already booked for a surgery how long was this my dear three years two years three. almost three years now okay yeah I've had you were booked for a surgery already yes. and that what that happened now uh, when you mentioned there's a lady with a back problem uh, first of all i encountered the holy spirit because i used to see everyone account holy spirit i thought it was a joke or how this happened and as to my surprise i start you know feeling the holy spirit my heart was easy was not heavy anymore and shaking and and, yes. and I fell down and then you right, right away you mentioned about it with a back problem and then i've i had a pen before the pen is gone i can you couldn't now. do this before she couldn't do this she can jump look at this amazing Apostle. I was on the wrist for spinal surgery. 
in the name of jesus we decree and declare this miracle remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Apostles, something similar also happened to this young man. Yes. For some time, he had had pain in his back. For, but in the last five days, the pain became very excruciating. So much so, he couldn't bend or touch his, his toes. This morning, while he was preparing to come, he was Googling, looking for the kinds of painkillers he could use. And his wife said, you are going for a meeting, a healing meeting. Why are you taking medication? And then he comes here this morning, and the power of God comes upon him, and he's healed, and he can do what he couldn't do. Do before. what you couldn't do before. Look at this. One more time. One more time. One more time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give Him the glory. Great things He has done. Let's take one or two Apostle, more. You need to hear this, sir. Please. Lump in the breast for six years. Gone. The, the medicals have verified it in the left breast. There's a report here to the effect, but the, the lump is completely disappeared. Let me hear her speak, my dear. Go ahead, 10 seconds. I found the lump in my breast. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I found the lump in my breast in 2017, and then I did the scan, and they said it was fibrodenema. But sometimes it causes discomfort, and i'll pray and then i'll check it will still be there I'll, I'll be so disappointed i was talking to my mom two days ago and she asked about it and i said whenever it's ready to go and then i told her i was coming here yes and then she prayed that i'll get my healing here so when you prophesied that there's a lady with a lump in the left breast i didn't want to go to check because i thought i'll be disappointed as usual but i went to the toilet to check and then the doctor examined me. I had to call my mom to send the scan so they can see. Hmm. Hallelujah. You see, listen, many of you do not know. You imagine that you're related to everyone who has received a miracle. Do you know what it means to leave your home? with an issue known by everyone and then return from church healed and you get home and they ask you where's the crutches no need for the crutches where's the whatever it is it's gone and you can tell them Jesus is alive very compelling evidence that Jesus is alive my dear in the name of Jesus it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit you remain whole whole forever can we take one or two we'll leave the remaining for evening there are so Apostle. many people already yes Apostle, two yes. years ago this woman had a baby and after delivery of the baby she starts to feel pain in her back and she's unable to bend or do anything the pains have subsisted i'd like her to say it herself so when you were ministering you spoke about someone with big pain and then i started bending and then the pain was gone. I said, this is a lie. I'm not standing up. And then I kept on bending and bending and I couldn't feel any pain again. I just kept on saying, this is a lie. I can't just be healed after two years of taking medication every day. But here I am. I'm feeling no pain at all. Amen. Completely. Amen. In the name of Jesus, perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Okay. Um, here's what will happen from this woman, this our dear mother once we're done taking her testimony we'll reserve all the remaining for evening so that at least i can say something for the next 15 minutes or thereabout apostle apostle uh, okay so let me listen to you and then i'll come there this go is a ahead very powerful testimony for 15 years she has had osteoarthritis in both knees my god awaiting replacement i'd like her to just go ahead i want to cry when i was this is a testimony from me. 
I looked at my phone on Wednesday and said, when will I see Pastor Salmon? Hmm. And when I was at work on Tuesday, another lady said to me, oh, do you follow him? I said, yes. She said, oh, he's coming tomorrow in Leeds. I said, no, I don't know how to get there. He said, I'll do it for you, mother. When you say it, somebody on their knees get healed, I cannot believe. I My God. Come on, Leeds, are you celebrating Jesus? This me, I could not move. I could not kneel on Kulunkulu Ami Nyabonga. Nyabonga Jehovah. I'm waiting for a knee replacement on the 4th of November. Please go tell me. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because One more time. That I will worship Him forever, love Him forever, because Mama, it is permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. You return rejoicing. Tell them this is what happens when men encounter the God of the Bible. God bless you. Let's give our mother a big hand clap. Okay, so let's... Apostle, she also had back issues for a year. And she has been healed. Completely healed. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Go ahead. He plays football and sprained his leg and has not been able to jog or do any warm-ups or even play for a long time. But he said he's completely healed. He can jog. He can run. He couldn't do it even... You play tonight. football? Yes, sir. And now you've been healed, go ahead, show us what you can do. No, this gentleman deserves to be somewhere serious. In the name of Jesus, may you become a professional as you desire. Amen. Let the hand of God rest upon you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's give him a big God bless you. Apostle, she has had two surgeries. Two surgeries. For Hynia, and she had a lump grow out of her because of those surgeries and the sickness yes but immediately you mentioned the cases about lumps the lump disappeared that's Completely the first thing gone. yes the second one is that you mentioned pain on the right side she too went to her gp and they couldn't find anything after scanning after everything three scans now she's completely healed it's like jesus went to all her body parts and fixed everything Hallelujah. It never returns to you again, my dear. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Apostle, this is our sister is from Italy. She came in and she has had a very tough marriage. All the way from Italy. All the way from Italy. Incredible. Okay. And she's not been able to sleep. She says she doesn't sleep at night. But immediately she got to Leeds. That immediately she came in yesterday for the first time she slept. Mm. That was the first miracle. She also has had migraine headaches and is completely gone completely right now. Completely gone. Also, she had a gastro issue. Immediately, you mentioned issues about the stomach. She noticed that she's completely whole after you ministered. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare perfection from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's have one last one, and then we'll be ready for a short charge this yes. morning. Okay, that's all. Let's lift our hands and give Jesus praise. You deserve the glory. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, we lift. Lift your hands and worship him, everybody. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles.
So here's what we're going to do this morning because of time. Um, I will turn the remaining part of this meeting to a prayer session and then we'll have some time. Just give us a charge for about maybe 10 minutes just to introduce something and then we'll pray afterwards we'll go and rest and then we'll prepare for the session at night because if I'm to teach what we have here, it will stretch us a bit and so that we work with time. But please be seated in the name of Jesus with a commitment that you are ready to pray. Someone say, I will pray. I will pray. Do you believe that? One more time, say, I will pray. I will pray. Amen. Uh, so, we're dealing with the series Contending for the Faith. And I was to teach this morning on the pathway to maturity from Acts chapter 6 and verse 4. But then I'll just introduce that um, so that this becomes a proper session, a prophetic and prayer session. Acts chapter 6 and verse 4, the Bible says, But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Now, every believer has a great destiny in Christ. Yesterday, we took our time to answer the question who is jesus and to answer the question what the gospel is as the message that saves and this morning i want you to know first and foremost that every believer has a great destiny in christ and the bible calls that destiny the hope of his calling the hope of his calling that there is an expectation in the heart of god when he calls men God does not just call men to become nothing. God does not just call men without an intent. When God calls a people to himself, there is a destiny attached to that call and he has an expectation. And um, God's joy is made complete for want of word if and when we evolve and we become portraits of his expectation. Unfortunately, many believers, if at all believers, do not grow, do not transit to get to that point where they bring satisfaction to the heart of the Father as reflections of His glory in experience. I'm reminded of a statement that I made, I think it was in Canada while we were having the sound of revival. I said, um, revivals are ignited and sustained primarily to the degree to which God finds vessels that are available and yielded i said that there are no dates for revivals revivals happen the day god finds vessels that are yielded and vessels that are available hallelujah and so when god calls a people at the back of his heart he calls them not just to use them but he calls them to give them an opportunity to transit until they become expressions of his glory, reflections of his glory. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 from verse 18, it says, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. So there is a dimension of glory God desires to be revealed in and through the saints. Verse 19 says, for the endless expectation of the creature awaited the manifestation of the sons of God. I think it's NLT or one of these versions that says creation is waiting for God to reveal those who his sons truly are. Truly are. Hallelujah. So every believer has a great destiny in Christ. I want you to know that when you are called to walk with the Lord, when you are called to serve him, when he beckons on us, it is not to waste our time, it is not to waste our destiny. I was so touched as Pastor Nat was, you know, just sharing his story while he ministered. And um, the story is everywhere. When God calls a people, for a long time they look like fools because you will need to follow a path that is unfamiliar, a path that is outside of the norm. 
and sometimes you will need to trust him by faith even when there's no evidence there hallelujah and so for a long time it will look like you're wasting away for a long time it will look like your destiny is robbed of color of beauty of progress but eventually as you walk with him the hope of his calling begins to find expression through your life and you begin to evolve step by step line upon line precept upon precept until you eventually become a manifestation of the glory of god and when he presents you as a portrait of his glory he will cause the nations to worship him through your life through the excellency of who and what you would have become are we together now it's important for all of us to know that we all together corporately we have a high calling in christ and um, we have a great destiny now the new birth experience as we know is not the totality of the believers experience please listen at the point where you get saved like we had many people saved yesterday night when you get saved that is not all there is to your journey to your becoming as simple as this sounds there are many believers who do not know that there is a journey beyond salvation i call it so as soon as they encounter jesus they receive his life in that initial new birth experience they shut down on their hunger they shut down on their pursuit they become casual church goers just maintaining themselves around the corridors of salvation not knowing that we are called to start that journey by accepting the lordship of jesus but that it does not stop there my charge for us as we pray is that god is calling us deeper there is still a journey beyond salvation so i wrote here that the new birth experience is not the totality of the believer's experience but the starting point of that journey are we together now at the point you get saved that is not all that god wants to do in your life i hope you realize that god's goal for you is not just to save you no the bible says as many who believed in him he gave them power to become power to become those who have already believed he gave them power to become sons of god even to them that believed on his name behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us he says that we should be called sons of god he says now are we the sons of god and it did not yet it does not yet appear what we shall be like and the word sons there it doesn't it doesn't mean a male it just means is is a is the greek word huios it means one who by reason of knowledge has attained the same status with his father when jesus called god his father and he being the son they accused him they said because he claims equality with god hallelujah so god's goal is not for us to remain children to remain weak um he wants us to live a victorious life he wants us to be reflections of his glory the end point of the journey the believer's journey with god is that you eventually become a reflection of the glory of god now with respect to this journey of transformation there are three kinds of believers and i want you to please listen carefully with respect to this journey of transformation there are three kinds of believers from scripture number one there are those called infants infants they are saved but they are void of knowledge they are void of transformation they are called babes infants hallelujah i promised a charge so i'm not going to go into the detail of explanation but just for you to know that everyone who comes into christ is received as a believer but an infant likened to what happens in natural birth there's no woman who gives birth to an adult no matter how big the child is they just say this baby is really big but it's still a baby are we together there are babies that come out uh in a very interesting way but they are still babies i think i should be modest and leave it there there are still babies are we together there are those who come out literally looking like adults but they are babies they're babies so we have an infant a babe number two the second category of believers we have those we call transformed believers they are no longer babies 
they have transited to a realm where we call them transformed believers and then the third category are called empowered believers so we have three kinds of believers an infant even though in christ then we have a transformed believer one who has submitted to growth the systems of growth the systems that produce maturity then we have the empowered believer now please look up the difference between a transformed believer and an empowered believer is that one has been enlightened but has not received the grace component are we together to manifest and defend his or her transformation so when you speak with a believer who is transformed you will find everything God but when it has to do with demonstrating the kingdom you may not be able to find that in the life of the believer if you probe the believer with respect to spiritual understanding you will be impressed at their level of transition but when it has to do with demonstrating the reality of the kingdom bringing God to the scene here and now they would be at a loss so an infant void of knowledge even though in Christ void of empowerment even though in Christ then we have the transformed believer one who has opened up himself to the ministry of the word he's allowed himself to be mentored he's allowed himself to be built he's understood the rudiments of the kingdom albeit without the ability to defend the things that he or she claims to know then we have the empowered believer now watch this it is the believer who is saved the believer who is transformed and the believer who is empowered that becomes a witness if you are not saved transformed and empowered you may be called a believer but you cannot be called a witness are we together Jesus was already mentoring and teaching the disciples but he never called them witnesses he was done with his lectures and then he said tarry ye in Jerusalem even though enlightened until you be endued with power from on high and when the day of Pentecost was fully come do you know that from the day that the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples they became apostles they became witnesses they raised other disciples but they were never called disciples again so we have three of these categories in this place right now and in every congregation in every city we have those who are outside of faith they've not even encountered jesus christ at all then we have those who are in christ but children but babes and the bible says an heir as long as that heir is a child he differed nothing from a slave even though he be lord of all that means when you see a believer who is an infant and you see an unbeliever their results literally look the same the only difference is that this one has believed in Jesus Christ are we together the potential for a great destiny the potential for healing deliverance and excelling life is already in him that incorruptible seed is there but in experience you may not find any difference it is dangerous to be saved and to remain an infant because although you have the life of God the potential of that life may never be revealed and these are the kinds of people that consistently misrepresent God and misrepresent the Christian faith because if you are to learn Jesus from the lens of one who is in Christ but an infant you will not see anything from his life that um, draws you to Jesus same pain as he was before he was saved same challenges same ignorance same oppression and yet the person is saved now that person has to go past that realm of infancy and childhood and the process that leads that person is called transformation he gets to a point where he's now called a transformed believer are we together and then he now moves further to get to a realm of empowerment empowerment by the holy spirit if you contend for transformation 
and empowerment now you become a vessel not only available you become a vessel that is yielded at that point you can serve the purposes of the kingdom with excellence god can do much with your life are we together there are people who are saved but cannot be used by god they have no capacity they've not grown to a point where they can be trusted with the destinies of nations they've not grown where they can be trusted with the destinies of other believers so the goal is not for believers to be saved and then remain as congregants as we call it believers to be saved and then remain just as members of an assembly helplessly looking onto one man of god every week for the rest of their lives the church was designed to be a place that allows for maturity where those who are lost come into the fold as infants and then they transit to a point of transformation to a point of empowerment they now find purpose in christ and they are deployed by the wisdom of the holy spirit to the various strata of human activities so that they can represent the purposes of god this is god's goal and if you do not submit to this journey look up please you may be saved but i assure you that your christian experience will be a plethora of frustrations so we have several believers who are saved but would not grow the excitement that comes with working with god is far from their lives because you see you will only know how exciting it is to work with god as you serve him not just when you love him as you serve him you have the opportunity to see his power to see his wisdom to see his grace walk through your life hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.